today we're going to be talking about exactly why that guy seems to think that you're a cheap babe. Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Selima and I'm a Lagos based YouTuber. Um, so guys, I'm starting a new um, series today which is going to be called the 20s series where we're going to be discussing everything you know about navigating your 20s from relationship to money to health to hygiene um to confidence we're going to be discussing everything i've noticed that most of my viewers are between the age of 18 to 24 and then 94 percent of my viewers are females so why not like why not also you guys please do not mind my voice i have kata and it's affecting my voice i'm so so sorry so this is the first video i'm going to be dropping as regards to my 20s series i would really really appreciate you guys feedback on it if you want me to keep going with this 20s series and yes yeah. so um as females we usually set standards a lot of standards as much as we females have standards males also have standards i mean reasonable males should have standards they just cannot date anyone so i'm going to be talking about things that you are doing that makes it seem like you're cheap to that guy that is probably asking you out or something so let's get right into it so the first thing i'm going to be talking about is asking a guy for air time in 2023 you're still asking a guy for hair time for recharge card no don't do that okay do not do that you're still asking for air time you're still asking for data why does that not even seem cheap to you? Okay, you want real men. You want men that will appreciate you, spoil you, see, buy you expensive things. You cannot start cheap, okay? You cannot start cheap, all right? Asking for airtime, asking for sub, is just going to think that, oh, this one is cheap. It doesn't look good on you, okay? It doesn't look good on the type of babe you are portraying yourself to be, all right? Also, the next thing I want to talk about is revealing a lot on your first date. I know there's a lot of you know controversies around this topic and you know social media has set some some rules some standards everybody seems to be living you know in a fantasy and let me tell you all we're in the real world this is reality men have standards men know who they want to you know who they think is a wife material who they want to spoil you they think that oh this one is an elegant woman you can't come off as um, vulnerable you can't come off as pick me you can't come off as as cheap okay if you're somebody that wears over revealing clothes on the first date it's not proper i personally think it's not proper even if social media thinks ah you're a woman do whatever you want if it's the one is the one blah 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 <laughs> but how do you want to portray yourself even if it's the one how do you want to portray yourself to the one you don't want the one thinking you're cheap okay you don't want the one thinking you're ass okay there are a lot of classy and elegant ways you can dress and a guy would see you and be like oh okay this one is not playing like this is a classy babe right here and it's the way you um portray yourself to be on the first date that's that's how we would see you for like the rest of the time you guys are going to spend together if you come off as a cheap babe it's going to treat you like a cheap babe if you come off as classy and elegant it's going to treat you as classy and elegant okay it's also the next thing i'm going to be talking about is taking friends on the first date now this is a topic i really 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 hate because why would you think to take your friends along to a first date are you kidding that's that's the cheapest thing anybody can do if you want to feel secure if you're not sure about the guy there are a lot of other ways you could go about it you can send your live location you can even ask your friend to be in that location and the guy wouldn't even know okay i saw a tiktok of um a girl going on the first date she met the guy on um what's it called she met the guy on the dating app and they were going on the first date and her friends had to follow her to make sure that everything was okay but they did not follow her to the date they sat on an entirely different table away from them that's if you want to feel safe and secure that's probably the route you should take you shouldn't take your friends and then you guys will be sitting around the table and then the guy will be coming from wherever he's coming from i would see five women waiting for him if if it was you what would you think 
tell me what would you think because everybody seems to think oh um if it's the one is the one if he wants to he, he would if it's this is that <laughs> if i'm a man and we are meeting for the first time even if it's not for the first time we're going on a date we planned one-on-one -on -one to go on a date and you brought friends even if it's one friend even if it's two friends it's not right it's not the right thing to do at all so what's your friend supposed to do sit down and listen to you both talk and it's supposed to of course buy food and cater for your friend's needs also that day that that's really really not right and that's very cheap that's very very cheap so the next thing i'm going to be talking about is following a guy home slash having sex on the first date now there are a lot of controversies around this topic also um a lot of people are saying that it's not a bad thing it doesn't make you cheap depending on how the guy treats you depending on how the dates went but let me tell you all oh, guys are devils <laughs> guys are devils no matter how you think that oh this one is is, is not like other guys you wouldn't use it against you you wouldn't think you're cheap it's a lie if things go south just a little bit is going to use that against you it might not directly use it against you it might not say it directly to your face but it's going to tell his friends and they're going to discuss and meet themselves about how cheap you were okay let's not do that whatever you want to do on the second date or maybe third date you can do if it gets to a third date you can do but on the first date keep it calm okay keep it calm <laughs> do not follow a guy home First off, for your security, no matter how friendly he seemed, no matter, no matter how great he seemed, psychopaths are real. Okay, they could they could max themselves with anything. They could be the greatest person you would ever you would ever meet. They could be the nicest person you would ever meet, and they're psychopaths. Okay, they do not follow a guy home. Do not have sex on the first date. Also, the next thing I want to talk about is ordering for too much food on the first date. Do not use date opportunities to eat your heart out to try the food you've never tried before i <laughs> i met a guy and was telling me his funniest date story and it was like um he met the girl and they decided to go eat and then they gave them the menu he ordered exactly what he knows how to eat and the girl probably seemed to use the opportunity to try out a new food on their menu something she's never heard of before something she's never heard before and she ordered it and she couldn't eat it it was expensive okay it was expensive and she couldn't eat it she was just you know she tried to cover up acting like oh it didn't make it nice oh she tried to make it you know the restaurant's fault but like it was glaring that she's never had it before and that's cheap let's stick to what we know how to eat and i'm even glad that people are exploring other date ideas you don't necessarily have to go and eat on the first date why are you guys hungry Still no food at home. There are a lot of other activities you could do on your first date that would make you grow closer to each other, that would make you know each other better than just eating, sitting across the table and discussing whatnot. And even if, okay, you want to go and eat on your first date, please and please order what you can pay for, okay? Fine, you want an expensive guy, you want a rich guy, whatever, whatever. No matter how rich it seems, no matter how expensive it seems, order what you can pay for. Because you, you don't want to act hungry. You're not hungry. Okay? Don't order too much. Keep it very, very classy and cheek. Alright? Also, if you're on a date and you want to, you know, fix your dress, you want to apply um, more lipstick, you want to apply perfume, excuse yourself. Do not do all of that in front of your date. Okay? Do not. Don't make it seem like you're trying to impress him or however. Way. Excuse yourself. This that's why there's the restroom. Go to the restroom, fix up yourself, and come out elegant as you are. Come out classy as you are, because that's what you are. Okay, so let's not do that. All right, let's not do that. Also, another thing I want to talk about is asking for transport fare from a guy. You see, I'm somebody that really truly believe that a real man would legit offer to pay for your ride or offer to come and pick you if you have to ask. Just ghosting. It's not the one. This is a forced um, date. As much as you're trying to impress him, you should also make effort to impress him. In fact, it should make the most effort to impress you. Even if, okay, you don't want him to know your house by him, you know, driving all over to come pick you, it should offer, at least you should offer it. At least you should offer it. If he does not talk about it, if he doesn't care about it, just ghost, okay? Just leave, okay? And that 
necessarily does not make you cheap i'm just adding it to this list of things you shouldn't do on a first date on a first time meeting that does not necessarily make you cheap though so yeah also if you're going on a first date do not ask for some people would you know want to go on a first date and they expect the guy to you know buy the dress they're supposed to wear the shoe the hair everything the guy is supposed to buy that <laughs> that's very very cheap if you're going on a first date and you expect the guy to buy everything that you're wearing that's very cheap okay as much as is is trying to impress you it doesn't owe you anything okay does not owe you anything is literally just getting to know you and this is the lowest anybody can go if you're somebody that asks for you know money for the dress you want to wear the heels the hair the everything your outfit for that day that's very cheap elegant women already act like they're rich already act like they have it figured out they're not using a date as as an opportunity to to have a new wardrobe or to hit new food okay that's that's not what a date is for you're getting to know the person you're meeting somebody for the first time you want to know about them it's not their money you're getting to know okay so please let's not act cheap that is very very cheap if that's what you're doing on the first date do not ask for money for a dress whatever wear whatever you have just look classy looking classy does not even have to be expensive like for real for real just look classy so yeah see i feel like it is the way you present yourself the guy will take you there are a lot of ways you present yourself and the guy would know that okay this lady is expensive okay i'm entering into an expensive relationship you're not the only one noticing things about this man you're not the only one thinking oh is he rich oh is he is he respectful or does he treat women right the guy also has expectations of you okay so you do not want to come up as as hungry you don't want to come up as an hungry babe you don't want to come up as vulnerable you don't want to come up as cheap okay guys also know who they want to you know be with okay and i feel like a real man also a rich expensive classy elegant man also knows what he wants in a female and if you're acting like this you're probably not what he wants in, in a woman so um that's why i decided to make this video and um i hope with these few points of mine i've been able to convince you not to do these things on your first date or if you're just getting to know somebody i hope i've been able to convince you because when you're 2023 you're setting standards or you have standards and you do not expect the guy to also have standards let's let's be for real okay let's be for real whatever you cannot accept do not do it to somebody so let's just keep it calm keep it elegant keep it classy on our first date all right so um i'm going to end the video here i hope you guys enjoyed that thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe okay and i'm going to see you all in my next video Bye.